Hello, and welcome back to Hermitcraft. I have secured the seed for Hermitcraft Season 8, and after having a little poke around, which has been so much fun, I kind of think that I want to try to finish some of the things that didn't get finished in Season 8. Namely... Griengots. Grian's base is definitely one of my favorites this season. I mean, it's it's absolutely incredible. It's magical, it's atmospheric, but as you can see here, I've already poked a little hole in it. There's nothing in here. And I kind of want to uh, finish the back. <laughs> Because it looks amazing from the inside, but as soon as you're back here, well, I know that I could do this with something like world edit, but I'm going to be honest, the thought of using world edit makes me, um, how do I describe this? Oh, whoa, there's more down here than I thought. Um, I just don't want to figure it out. I just don't. I don't want to. So I'm just gonna try to go for this in creative mode. And once I'm done doing this, who knows? I might do some other things. I might do some interiors in Midnight Alley. Because this is a really cool place, but it's also empty. And then a bunch of the other bases around this area and around the whole map have parts that are undone. And, you know, we'll see how far my motivation takes me with it. But yeah, I'm at least going to start here and see where we go from there. So let's get into it. The beginnings of a few time lapses did get cut off. They got corrupted. So you missed the walls and the floor in this one. Also, please excuse the bottom lag. It is no joke. Now let's begin. Alright, here it is. So, I have not done the whole entire thing, and maybe I will add more to that later. Um, but what I have done is I changed this into a door. Like, there's some hinges there, and then this is like a handle, and then here it is. I am quite happy with how this turned out. There's the G up there, of course, and multiple diamond chandeliers, each one bigger than the last. And then there's all the little, um, you know, the, the places where the goblins stand and do their counting. And there's gold where each of them stands. There's these blacked out windows. And then up here, there's actually a little bed. So it could be a, a sleeping place instead of the bed shop. There's a few little potted plants. And then if we go outside, <laughs> this is what it looks like on the top. But there is a tremendous amount of space left here that could be filled. And part of me is tempted to do that, but not right now. Um, what I do want to do, though, because we are a long way from being done, is <sighs> finish the back of the base. Maybe I'm taking on too much here, but I'm not joking about this. 
When I said I was here to finish uh, the base, I kind of meant it. So, wish me luck. I have done it. All of it. And this took a minute. But here it is. The whole entire back is done. And it does do a weird dippy in thing here, which is a giant mob farm. But quite honestly, if I brought this mountain down to the water, I would want to extend it all the way through to the bottom of the seafloor, and I didn't want to do that. That sounded like so much work. I also gave the moss a little fade out up here to, to continue that, and then underneath here... Oh, it is so laggy. There is a way in, which there is a lot of space in here. A lot of space. And th this is only one one part of it. It goes over here to oop, and you can see all the area that is encapsulated by these mountains. So I'm gonna fly back out, um, because I also right at the end of that time lapse there did this little area right over here where I joined Pearl's terraforming in with this, and I think I did a good job. Like I think it fits in well. But honestly, it is hard to match all of this, you know? It's very detailed, but I think that it looks good. I think it works well. However, you might be wondering, oh, like, why is there still so much time in the video? Um, 
Let me fly you back into Green Gots, which yes, we already did a tour of uh, <laughs> I keep hitting the candles. Uh we already did a tour of, but oh, upon coming back in here, I don't think it's good enough anymore. I don't think it's good enough. And I think the thing that is tripping me up the most is that this room looks so flat. Like, it looks very wide and very squat. And, like, this part of it, I think that's good. I think that works well here. Like, the dimensions work well, and that's awesome. And then you come out into here, and it's too short. And so I think I want to push that ceiling up. This time, I'm not going to do more time lapses. I'm just going to try to stand on this nope no i'm gonna try to stand on this block and return to this spot when i'm done so i will see you again in what will look like a second to you and will probably be a very decent amount of time for me all right i decided to lie and come back now instead of in that spot because I just wanted to show this. This is how it's looking inside Green Gots now. Now that the mountain is closed in, it's very strange. Whoa, what is this little hole here? What? I... <laughs> well, okay, so there might be a couple holes here and there, maybe. I think I got most of them. Um, that's not the point. The point is, yes, there's this building is going to go whoop up another floor. And then I think I'm going to break into here. Ooh. Oh, this is hollow. Discovering conspiracies. Anyways, I want to try to put the, the display diamonds into this as well. We'll see what I can do. What? What was that? is an invisible spider it's done and now i'm back where i said i was going to be before but we don't get the cool snappy snappy that's fine anyways here is how it's looking i'm super happy with it i changed some stuff down here as well before i show you up there um change these to polished blocks instead of the tile blocks because i thought it blended a little bit better and then uh, put these dark oak things around all the pillars to make them look a little more d attached, which I think looks really good. Also, I don't think I explained this before. The reason I chose these blocks together is because a lot of the inside of Gringotts, it has these sort of like marbled reddish granite looking stones and granite in the game does not look like that. So I chose these together for like the, the combination of the reddish and greenish tints with the cobbled together look, you know? And I think it looks really cool. There is a brand new diamond chandelier, which now makes these two over here look absolutely sad. Yeah, so now these doors here have a purpose. The The little hallway stairway thing here is not much to look at. Like there's nothing special in here. But when you get up here, I decided to turn this upper level into a sort of Galleria style thing where like, you know, Gringotts is a fancy schmancy place and maybe they're showing off some of the things that they have found over the years. So like there's armor, there's another right sword over there. There's another star. There's these little benches things <laughs> here, just in case you get winded walking down the hallway. There's an amethyst shard here on this side in the same spot. There's a dragon head. I added in a few of the floating candles just up in this spot, not downstairs. And then over here, you can see the backside of this diamond pile that you can see from the outside, which I did have to remove the moss that was inside of it so I could make it complete. I am really happy with this now. And I think it gives you the proper sort of effect when you walk in from the bottom now and it doesn't look so flat and squished anymore. Because now when you come in here, you get to see this. Which just looks amazing. So that is that. 
There are a lot of other things on this map that I could play with. I could finish the Big Eyes shopping district. There's a bunch of people's interiors that didn't get finished. Scar was going to do floating mountains on top of the mountains that I finished. So if you want to see me come back and finish up some more things, let me know and give me suggestions as to what you would like me to try and do. And if you enjoyed this video, of course, please do consider subscribing, liking, sharing, all of those good things, and let's have one last look at what we have created today. Sorry,